And maybe you guys have an old truck bed liner like this that has warped over time from the heat. And, uh, you know, you can't get it to sit flush against here. What I'm going to do is actually drill into here and uh, use stainless steel rivets. Put maybe five or six down like this, maybe a little more. <clears throat> That's going to hug it in here. And uh, I may even throw a bead of caulk on the top seal here, but I do want the moisture to get out. So I might not be doing that, but we'll see what it looks like. So have a, have a look at this uh, little technique here. I'm going to use a pop rivet gun because hand rivets suck. seven and a half inches so we'll just say that's 60 and we'll go every 10 You want to make sure you use a drill bit that's the right size for your rivet. I think these are eighth inch, so I'm going to go eighth inch. Nah. We'll try eighth inch, I might have to go a little larger. Going about a half inch down, maybe three quarter inch down from the top of this. Perfect. Eighth inch was perfect. And this is an, uh, a pneumatic gun. So I got the wrong size tip on there. Okay, so I got three sixteenths rivets. And I just put the first one in. I think I'm going to end up putting one every other spot here. But I'm going to work my way down. Um, so that I kind of take out some of the curve and see what I'm working with here. All you do is stick it in. Pull the trigger. Make sure you got it all the way in there or else uh, not going to work right. Got a little belly here in the middle, one here and one here. So I'm actually going to drill every other spot now. I only did a rivet wherever there was a belly. I still got a little spot there, but I'm not worried about that. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching.